Dr. Heather Morella. I'm a part of the team that teaches General Biology 2, which is a first year course that covers evolution and the diversity of life on Earth. I also teach upper level electives in plant physiology and parasitology. These courses are designed for juniors and seniors that emphasize developing and refining the skills of a scientist like writing and experimentation. Occasionally, I also teach the Laboratory for the Genetics core course and also second year seminars on various interesting biological topics. I'm a plant biologist that studies how plants interact with other organisms in their environment. Some of these interactions are beneficial to the plant, while others are detrimental. My research uses a combination of approaches such as genetics and cellular and molecular biology to examine these relationships between the plant and other organisms. I have two major research projects that students work on. The first project looks at the interaction between Arabidopsis plants and a parasitic nematode. Parasitic nematodes are a major agricultural pest and cost farmers billions in lost revenue annually. This research is conducted entirely in my laboratory as we can grow both the plants and the nematodes together on petri dishes. The second project is a collaborative project with Dr. Fisher-Reed and a nationwide group of scientists studying local adaptation in milkweed. In particular, we are looking at the interaction between milkweed plants and a beneficial soil fungus. This research takes place in the experimental milkweed garden on campus during the growing season, and also in my research lab for the genetics work from late fall to late spring. Students in my lab use a wide variety of techniques dependent on the type of question they are asking. But generally, students will learn how to grow plants from seeds in controlled environments and sterile cultural techniques. Once they have grown their plants, we then extract the DNA and RNA to understand what is happening at the gene level during the interaction with the other organisms. We also monitor changes using techniques like PCR and qPCR. Students also monitor levels of infection of fungus or nematodes through staining and microscopy. My research team is typically comprised of four to six students at various stages of their college career. Students typically join my team as a sophomore or junior and work on building lab skills that first semester by working with me one-on-one -on -one in the lab or by shadowing a senior student. After the first semester, I will work with the student to develop an individual project that they will continue on until they graduate. I have weekly meetings with each student to work on experiments. We also have weekly group meetings for the whole team, where we discuss research articles or learn new techniques as a group. Undergraduate researchers really blossom as scientists as they experience the process of how science works as they conduct research. I am committed to including undergraduates in my research because it has the power to take you from a person that likes science to a person who does science. Doing undergraduate research changed my life and it can do the same for you. I would love to speak with you more about my courses and my research. Please stop by my office or send me an email at any time. Best of luck to you and I hope to see you in class.